I always knew that my PhD training would come in handy one day. And here's a little family. That's me, my wife, Catherine, also an anesthesiologist, our daughters, Adriana and Carolina, and our son, Rafael. And the kids were begging us for a pet, so we decided to rescue an adorable, albeit the feral kitten. Now, let me tell you, this little lady was as wild as a kitten can get. The vet advised us to keep her in a kennel for three days so that she can get used to the sounds and smells of the house. And she seemed to be adjusting well, getting used to seeing us and the kids. But as soon as we finally let her explore, she bolted disappearing into the ventilation ducts. We thought she'd come out after adapting a little, but when we hadn't seen her for two days, we started to worry. We knew we had to do something. Catherine stayed up several nights until 3 a.m. waiting for the cat to show up in the kitchen. That would give us just enough time to close the ducts off and cat-proof the apartment. But this little cat would just peer out of the vents and then run right back into it if Catherine made a slightest move. And after four nights of laying on the floor until 3 a.m., Catherine finally was too exhausted and she threw in a towel. This is where we knew. We got to put in our PhD training to work and devise a scientifically grounded methodology to rescue our little kitten. And here's how it went. There we go, that's where the cat hides behind the range and she goes right into here and climbs all the way up to there. So it's really a rescue operation for the cat, if you will. It's a wild cat. So that's food, that's food, that's food, food, food. It goes right into the cage and the doors of the cage are tied to the little hook here and this is the last rehearsal so the big cat is sitting up there she's watching at the mirror there she is up there the little cat comes down to the cage to eat the food and the big cat does this oh. Boom. let go one more time so this is what happens when the cat is securely in, now, boom. has been called. There it is. Hello, Pusha. Having a cat is the best thing one can do. And that's how our medical schools and doctorates finally came in handy. I even put my inventor's hat just to save the cat. But what does any of this have to do with Nysora? Since our little kitten has become a part of the family and we recently got a spade, we wanted to share with our YouTube community that a simple regional anesthesia technique such as stop block can make a huge difference for your pet postoperatively. We just published a regional anesthesia veterinary mobile app to help vets implement more humane pain management methods so that our pets do not have to live a dog's life after any surgery.